Hey, my Taurus babies, this is EJ from Toronto Tarot. Yeah, it's that time again for the weekly upbeat. Need some kind of music or something. <laughs> some kind of Saturday Night Live weekend update music. What the hell? Anyway, I know a lot of y'all are like, what the fuck is really going on? I hear you. I hear you. I feel like I've been on a roller coaster for the past 10 days. It's up and down, up and down, and back and forth, up and down, up and down. And when I was so certain that this energy had kind of faded away, this shit come back with a roar. Um, bear with me just a second. Let me tell you what's going on this week with the planets. If I can find my page. Okay. So we're going to roll this from tomorrow, which is the 11th, um, through the following Monday, which is the 19th. So this is what's going on in between there. Jupiter will station direct tomorrow. Um, Jupiter is the planet of... Bounty, abundance, benefits, pick your, pick your abundant word, whatever it is. So if you um, have been, for example, let me just give you an example. I had to get a, I messed up a money order <laughs> like six months ago. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm slow, y'all. What you want? Uh, it wasn't much chunk change, but I just got that check. It's like a $10 check. Um, but that, I will say, is probably the direct energy of Jupiter getting ready to station direct. So if you've been like coming up short on money, resources, what have you, what not, um, you will see that correct itself because Jupiter is about to stop moonwalking and start walking straight. There you go. Um, that's tomorrow. Next Sunday, Mars goes into Virgo. So currently, and, and those of you that know anything about planets, Mars is a warrior planet. Um, representative of Aries, I believe, and all this fighting and violence and in your face, fuck you type energy, <clears throat> that's Mars and Leo. And so just think about the sign Leo, and then you add, you're going to add another fighter to the fight, and there you go. When it enters Virgo next week, what you will notice is that there will still be a method to the madness, there will still be some ugly shit. But it will not be so in your face. It will not be, you know, all five days of coverage on some catastrophe somewhere. It will be different. Uh, Virgo, think about the sign Virgo. A little more low-key. A little more organized. Not quite so in your face. And definitely on a mission. So just because Mars is leaving Leo, the only thing you can really look forward to is some reduction in the in-your-face aggressive energy. However, Mars is Mars, and Mars still going to do its thing. Uh, Mercury will enter Leo tomorrow. So just as Jupiter is stationing direct, Mercury will go into Leo. So communication. As Mars exits Leo, Next week, you got Mercury entering tomorrow. Communication is going to be just like Mars being in Leo, except it's Mercury in Leo. So communication is going to be all up in your face. Everybody going to be trying to stand up in their own truth, in their own light. Sun represents Leo. Um, so it's going to be that kind of communication. I will caution all bulls. <coughs> excuse me, all bulls. Moderate what you're doing. Now. I ain't got nothing wrong with nobody shining up the horns and doing what you need to do. 
take care of yourself. However, in your face confrontation probably for the next two weeks should be avoided. Say the hell you need to say it's the hell down. Do not drag on, do not carry on, do not teach class, none of that shit. Say what you got to say and leave that shit alone. Uh, because that Mars in Leo is still there. So with Mercury going in it, while Mars is in it, you have a propensity for the next 10 days or so for, for fights, period. Don't even get that shit twisted. Um, we are always the winner in the fight. In case anybody want to know, <laughs> Taurus is always the winner. I don't care what you're talking about. However, this is not about winning or losing. This is about knowing when and where to speak your mind, to speak your truth. You'll never hide from your truth. Say what you need to say. Like I said, this is not the time to be teaching a master's class on how you need to behave when you're in my car. I'm just saying. I'm putting it where it is. Um, any wrongs that happen to you, Taurus, between now and I'll say the first part of next week, not this one coming, we're talking about the 18th and 19th, you will have an opportunity to come back to this towards the end of September. So anybody you feel like getting ready to say, you're say some shit and you're ready to go and just shine up, shine up the horns and do your thing, hold off on that. Again, speak your truth and see this is where this energy about disseminating what you can and cannot do. Yes, you should speak your truth, but no, you ain't got to be all up in anybody's face speaking your truth. Speak it and sit down. And it's, it's, we're learning this. A lot of us, for a lot of us, this is new energy. You know, you know, you just used to saying the fuck you want to say and then fuck everybody else. This is about finesse, people. I'm just telling you, and this is part of Uranus being in Taurus. We need to learn how to finesse a little bit. I am great. I will get in your face. People will tell you that I work with. I will get in your face immediately with some dumb shit. I ain't playing. I want to hear it. We here to work. Let's work. However, <laughs> sometimes you need to moderate that tone. I'm not saying you can't say it, but you need to have a little finesse. Uh, we already have a target on our back because we don't play. We ain't putting up with nobody else's bullshit. And we don't suffer fools like we. We just don't. And slow coaches, we don't do none of that. We don't do none of that. You coming off left to center, you will, you will get told by a Taurus. However, Taurus, I love you. <laughs> I know y'all like the hell is you talking about just moderate your tone just moderate your tone moderate what you're doing people are going and this is this energy as long as Mars is in Leo which will be until the 18th this is going to be this energy and again with Mercury getting ready to enter um, Leo tomorrow it's going to be all about that in your face I told you we don't need all that say what you're going to say and sit down we have a full moon on the 15th in Aquarius. Um, those of you that have been hatching big ideas and big plans, some of you will see those come to fruition this week. Um, with the full moon in Aquarius, this is going to be more about the mental. Be very careful with people trying to manipulate your mind and your emotions with some bullshit. Um, full moon in Aquarius can do that sometimes, so be mindful of that. Uh, those are the only things that are of any consideration. The biggest thing is just knowing Mars and Mercury, both in Leo this week. So just moderate your tone and tone down what you're doing. We're rolling from tomorrow, the 11th to the 19th, so our overall energy. Choose wisely and new beginnings. It's the inside, outside, front and back energy. So we're going to pull for the 11th, Prosperity Begins, for the 12th, Destiny, for the 13th, Material and Spiritual Prosperity, for the 14th, Partnerships and Alliances, for the 15th, Financial and Material Changes, for the 16th, Suffering and Silence, for the 17th, Power, for the 18th, Sacrifice, and for the 19th, Truth. Centerpiece card is a five. So it's changing. Money changing. I'm just telling y'all. Money getting ready to change. And for most of you, this is going to be a step up. Y'all heard me? I said a step up. 
Bear with me, people. Choose wisely pulls the Six of Swords. And New Beginnings pulls the Nine of Cups. How about that? Prosperity Begins. Five of Swords. Destiny pulls the Three of Cups. Material and Spiritual Prosperity pulls Princes of Coins. That's us all day. Partnerships and Alliances pulls the Princess of Swords. Financial and Material Changes. Four of Cups, back to partnerships and alliances. Get rid of folks that ain't doing you no damn good. I'm coming back to that. Suffering in Silence pulls the Five of Wands. The Power Card pulls the Happy Family, Ten of Cups. Sacrifice pulls the Ten of Coins. Uh oh. Shit now. Then the Truth Card pulls the King of Cups. Who knew it? All right, Taurus. Most of us will deal with our overall energy. And this is, you hear me talking about front and back, inside and outside. So this is where we are on the outside. And, if, if, and bear with me, because I'm, I'm learning more every day. I'm just saying. Um, the universe is being kind of nice to me, and it's not dumping me all into this. I've been dealing with this talent forever, and I'm just a year in of finally realizing who and what the fuck I am. Who knew? Anyway, your overall energy, and I've always been inspired to put up two cards versus one, because your overall energy, you're not just happy. You can be happy, but you can also be worried about some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you can be sad, but you can be glad that whatever happened when my grandmother died. I was happy that she passed, because she suffered so much when she was living. You feel that you're happy, you're sad. So you have an inside, an outside, a front and a back to your overall energy. It's not just this one thing. And so I like to pick up on the little meat, potatoes and the crumbs and stuff to make sure we understand fully all of it. I'm not going to resonate with everybody, but I know it's going to hit most people somewhere. Eat the fish, leave the bones. We are, I'm going to say as a collective, trying to get the fuck out of the choppy waters <laughs> and onto some smooth sailing. I feel you. Fuck, I feel you. Y'all don't understand. I feel you. <sighs> the only way that this happens, though, and we know this, this is our raw energy, the fucking decisions. You know what I'm saying? And, and what is the right decision? Damn. If I go with A, I have a car. If I go with B, <laughs> I have a truck. Here's the thing about decision making. When you have choices, even if the decision is to continue with a person or to go on by yourself, it's still a decision. There's a plus and a minus to everything. I just did a, a personal reading here not long ago and it's just saying the same thing and I'm if I said it to you, you hear it again. I got the brand new car. I got that black Mustang <laughs> with the spinning wheels. Y'all know what I'm saying. I, that's not my real car, but I'm just saying. Here's the thing, though. I have a $500 car, though. Just to buy tires for the Mustang, about $200 a piece car is beautiful. Come on now. But the back side of that, the back side of that, what is the back side of that? You gotta pay that damn car note. You gotta keep that damn gas tank full. Whether the gas prices are low or high, that's the downside. So everything, and sometimes we get caught up in that downside and it will make us think we've made the wrong decision. Not necessarily so. Trying to move out of the choppy tours onto the smoother waters. It's decision time. That's that's the best way I know how to put the feeling. Is and it's a somber feeling. It's not even a happy. Oh, I'm gonna make a decision. Nope. Some of you is gonna be heartbreaker. It's gonna feel like it's the end of the world. Others of you are gonna be like, damn, fuck it. I'm glad. Bye. See you. Go. Boop. Work through the energy tours. Work through the energy. I know, and I said this in another reading this morning, sometimes you feel like you want to run through the china shop 
You know, just show me the entrance and the exit. I don't give a damn about the details and kind of crystal and water for this mother shit that's in the damn store. I'm just trying to run through the damn china shop. I'm the book. But in this instance, as with a lot of things this year, we are asked to not run through the china shop, but actually stop and take a look at what the hell is in the china shop. So she's so damn determined to run through it every day. Why don't you take a look around and see what you're tearing up? That's the energy. Um, go through the emotional shit. You see all that water on either on either car. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Get your Kleenex box and let's just put this shit out there. Get your glass of wine and just go through the emotional shit. Do the emotional work that you need to do so you can get from here to here. That's that's the end game. You're trying to move from A to B. You're trying to evolve. And the inside of that energy is about a new beginning. A lot of people are looking for that new beginning, whether it's with a new person or a restart with the clown you with. It's coming towards confirmation that it's there, but you're going to have to go through the emotional shit. And unfortunately, for a lot of you, a lot of us, the emotional shit is the shit we're going to have to go through by ourselves. Because whomever we're dealing with, and it could be anybody at any sign, not just the air, not just the water, um, they're not going to understand how we process things. Period. That you just drop, put a period at the end of that. There's nothing else to say. Whoever it is, the dominant person you're thinking about right now as I'm speaking, they're not going to understand how you process things emotionally at all. You're a Taurus, and it's all in perception. It's how people are looking at you. You're a Taurus, you're a bull. You know, you may have no problem getting in nobody else's face and telling them which side the buckwheat the bear set in. But for those of us that are emotional or that we process our emotions and wear our hearts on our sleeve, that kind of situation, people don't understand that we're emotional creatures. A lot of people don't even understand that we're actually very smart and very intellectual because they have this notion that we are the proverbial bull running through the china shop and we don't give a damn about shit else but what we're doing and that is so not true. Unfortunately, because we have that, um, a lot of people will tell you, oh, you're so strong and you have to be so well. You, you damn near ready to cry your eyes out and shit. But people looking at us, we carry it that way. And that's just a natural thing. So unfortunately, because we have that conception or misconception, however you want to put it, it leaves us in a situation sometimes like this where we actually have to process our emotions on our own. Or if you're lucky, I'm very lucky. I have a cousin and a best friend and one person. She's also a Taurus. We can kind of process shit together. She'll say her thing about her situation and we're sitting smoke a cigarette, think on that for a minute, then I'll say my thing about my situation, and we'll sit and think about that for a minute, smoke another cigarette, and keep it moving. If you don't have that, your next best thing is to write. I know, y'all, I don't want to write, I know. You don't have to write a novel, you don't have to write an essay, but you need to write three or four things down every week about where you're headed and how you're feeling. And once you start getting some of that emotion out, because you need the things that you got to do between now and the end of the year. And somebody please inbox me and remind me a month from now that I did this reading. Because I'll be the very one. My emotions will be all over CNN and Fox News. And y'all be like, what happened to her? She's just so emotional. Because I will forget this. I promise you I will. Let's <laughs> go right in one end out the other. But our object, and this is difficult. I'm just going to put this shit here because we are connected to the earth. So we feel things. Even though people don't think we do, we feel things. And a lot of us are empathic and don't know that we're empathic. But because our hooves are connected to the earth, just like your dog or your cat can sense six hours before you even know a rainstorm is coming. As bulls, we have the same capacity and we feel things in other, other people. That is what makes us so very loyal because we can feel how other people are moving and shaking and feeling about things when other people are totally unaware. Get it, get your emotions out. Write it out. If you got a buddy that you that can 
just really, really, really relate. And usually that's another Taurus or somebody that's got a lot of earth in their chart. However you can do that, get that emotion out. Because when it comes to dealing with your personal relationships, most of you, as far as work is concerned, some of that is here as well. As far as work is concerned, you know how to shut the emotion part down and, and get to the business of the day. It is the other side of this. And this is what most of you are trying to manifest. Y'all trying to work this relationship out. A lot of you have a lot of options. A lot of you don't have a lot of options. Either way, you have choices to make. And in order to choose wisely, you're going to have to emotionally move out of the emotional shit and just deal with the issue at hand. For example, got somebody that's cheating or you think that's cheating, you're going to have to come with the facts. You're going to have to Joe Friday that shit. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. No emotion. You have, and you, you're going to have to almost dead panic. Just <clears throat> no affect, no nothing. This is what I know. This is what I expect. This is what's going to happen. Just just like that. No crying. No weepy eyes. No nothing. No voice raising. Throw that shit out there the way that you need to. And, and let it hit where it needs to hit. Don't worry about where it hits. Just let it hit where it needs to hit and back up. As you do that, and this is your own raw, we ain't got to the reading yet. As you do that, you'll see. Some of you may be too blocked people off your phone, off your Facebook, off your Instagram. Put that out so you can process this shit. And if people get mad at you, you can even lock me out. Never care. Damn it, you need it a moment. I'm just saying. Success is ours, but we're going to have to process this touchy-feely shit. And that, the nine of cups, <laughs> cups, hello, cups, water, emotion. More water, more water. Keep your emotions in check. Somebody please inbox me on Thursday. I'm sure I'm going to need to hear that thing. Because I'm going to forget. I'm an emotional person. I just am. So I'm sure Thursday, by Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, somebody's going to need to call me, inbox me, text me something, and let me know to keep my emotions in my pocket and shut up and sit the hell down and keep doing what I'm doing. All right, I'm done. Tomorrow, Five of Swords. Prosperity begins. So a lot of us are walking through Thursday was the 8th, August 8th, 8-8, eight, 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 which um, this year walked us into the Lion's Gate portal. So the portal has actually been open for about six weeks, and I think it actually closes on the 15th. But the 8th was the pinnacle day of that. And so some of you have probably already felt the shift. Um, a lot of times negative nasty infighting needs to happen in order for good things to come about so I'm gonna say this is not <coughs> excuse me this is not gonna just resonate for the 11th you see that one up there <laughs> cars don't lie I'm sorry it's not gonna just resonate for tomorrow but we need to do a self-check. We need to make sure that whatever resources or tools we're using are up to, are up to par. If you got a sword and that's what you're using, you need to make sure it's sharp. If you got fire, you need to make sure that bad boy is going. However it's resonating with you, I know y'all like, what the hell? Those that this is resonating with, y'all hear me. You need to make sure your tools and your resources are the way they need to be. And I'm not necessarily talking about money. Matter of fact, I'm not talking about money at all. But you need to get mentally sharp. And this is air. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But it's air. It's mental shit. Some of us may need to change our attitude. However, while you're going through this, you will begin to see... Prosperity is coming to you whether you're ready for it or not. I'm just saying. Whether that's money, whether that's uh, people coming to help you, how, however prosperity is resonating with you, it's coming whether you're ready for it or not. If you ain't ready for it and you got 10 garbage bags full of dollar bills sitting outside your door, oh well, too bad. It's been coming. Y'all know it's been coming. Here it is. Time to deal with it. The destiny with the Three of Cups. 
not so much third party energy as it is. This is this is harkening back to people to family situations. So some of you are going to have um, people coming back into your experience. They may have been traveling over the summer. Um, Other people may have gone away for work and been gone maybe three, four, five, six months, however that's resonating with you. This week, folks are going to start traipsing back in. They're going to start traipsing back in one, two at a time. Understand that, how can I say this? The way they left you is not the way they're coming back. That's the only way I know how to say that. The way they left you is not the way they're coming back. For those of you that have partners and friends, best friends, roomies, um, some of you living with siblings, however they're coming back to you is not the way that they left you. And this in part will impact your road to your destiny. There's a lot of female energy. I don't know, feminine energy has just been popping up all day. This is a lot of feminine energy. For some of you, it is it is masculine, but it's got a feminine touch to it. Take it for what it's worth, however it's resonating with you. And maybe that the man in your life is coming back and he's being a little more sensitive. I'm just saying, the way they left is not the way they're coming back to you. Be ready. Because if you're not ready, it will catch you completely off guard and you will swear to God somebody has got on a clone suit and this is not the person that you know because this is not the shit they used to do before they left. This is all about your destiny tour. So, um, however this person comes back to you, and this is not just for Monday, this is going to resonate probably throughout the next 10 days. However this person comes back to you, and whatever decision you make about that person, because for some of you, you're going to be like, oh, hell no. Uh, where is my man? I don't know who the fuck you, you got to go. It's that energy. Now, for most of you, it feels like it's going to be the exact opposite of that. It's going to be like, oh, my God, where? Ooh, ooh, that's so nice. You didn't do that before. What? Ooh. Choosing, making a decision. Some of you are at the brink. You're waiting on this person to come back so you can make that decision. And y'all are future. Y'all got bags packed, shit to the left, in the closet, locked up, and some other shit. Before you put the final nail in the coffin, Taurus, hold on. Just hold the fuck on. And see how they come back to you. Again, you got free will. You do what you need to do. If you are not satisfied with how they talking, walking, and acting to the left, Get your shit out of my closet and be gone. If, however, you are pleasantly surprised, I'm coming back to that slow energy again. Slow it down. Take a look around you. Take a look at the person. But understand, the way they're coming back to you is not the way that they left you. Um, for some people, this may be about a maturity issue. For others, it may be about just not having some of the same responsibilities this person had before they left and they're coming back a little lighter. However, it's resonating. There's a change, though. No doubt, there's a change. Um, the pumpkins are what have me fascinated right now. I don't know why, but just know and it's harvest time. So, just know not going to be the same. For a lot of you, it's going to be about the abundance. It's har it's harvest time. Let's not get that confused. We are in harvest time. It's time for stuff to come up out the ground. Looking at them pumpkins, abundance, abundance. For others of you, some of this energy, <laughs> talking about pumpkins, is that 10, some of this energy is going to start and carry you all the way through October. Just, just a heads up. I know y'all like the lady is crazy. Work with me, people. Keep up. Material and spiritual prosperity with the princess of coins sitting on, on top of this. Don't give it all away. Don't give it all away. Especially in this situation here with this person coming back. Be cautious. Usually that's the four coins that pops up to be guarded or being guarded. But here it's about not giving too much away at one time. Right there. They coming back. 
your prosperity for some of you is going to be tied up in this. So changes, even though you may like to change this person is coming back with, don't give away too much. Let them suffer through it. If, it, if this has been some nasty, ugly shit going on, be cool, be cordial, be gracious, but don't tell too much too soon. Keep your mouth shut. Sit tight. Again, that energy, you know, if you have something to say, say it, but keep it down to a minimal and don't, don't, don't tell what you, what your plans are. That's really the best way and the easiest way I can say it to you. Your material and spiritual prosperity require that of you, that you do not give away too much and you particularly don't give away too much too soon. Let the other person show you what they have. Let them tip their hand first. And for some of you, this may be at work this week. Let the other person tip their hand first. Don't just tell it off. Shit. I'm sorry. Partnerships and alliances with the princes of swords. In other areas, you may be doing some fighting, some arguing, that careless catty shit, that petty shit. If you're trying to keep your partnership, and this is, this is really resonating with friends and roommates, not so much romantic partners. Keep a lid on it. Keep this down to a dull roar. Let other people bust their nut first. Let them clown first. Don't you clown on them. Let them clown on you first. And then if appropriate, stand up in your truth and say what you need to say. But if it's a partnership that you're trying to keep intact, like I said, hold just what I said before I even put the cards on the table. Hold it. Just hang on to it till we get to the end of this month, the end of next month. Your turn is going to come towards, once again, making sure you got your resources honed up. This is the week where all of this opens up. So you don't want to give away too much. Some of you may need to change your attitude about some things. The prosperity is happening. Whether you like it or not, it's happening. So make sure that your resources, the tools and things that you do to do what you do. Make sure they're up to par. Make sure your mental, you, you, how you're processing your mental stuff is clear. Person coming back, not the same as when they left. Financial and material changes with the Four of Cups. And this is your centerpiece for this reading for this week. Be patient. This is your challenge. You're going through financial and material changes. Like I said, for a great many of you, it's not down, it's an up. But to make the changes, the thinking changes, the emotional changes, come on now, that's a cup card, that you need to make about your money and your material wealth. If you ain't got nothing but $10, that's material wealth, I'm sorry. Work on the emotional part of it. Back some of your emotions out of what you're dealing with as far as your, your financial and material changes are concerned. You may be excited at the fact that you just got some kind of check for $10,000 and you just all excited. Take that emotion out of it before you spend a penny of it. I'm just saying. If you're getting a raise, if you're getting a promotion, before you start adding up bills, sit, just sit down. Have a seat. Take your time. There's no reason to rush through this week or this energy in the next 10 days. There's no reason whatsoever to act like you're running some damn marathon somewhere. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not do it. Again, you're trying to get out of the choppy and onto the smoother. You have decisions to make. Sit on it. And that's your challenge. To roll with the changes, even good changes. And sometimes we'll fuck up a good change, good change in a minute. Because we're just so emotional and so excited. woo hey, 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 hey. Tone that down. Tone that down. And take a chill approach. And here it is, right here. The King of Cups. Get with dude. Get you something to drink. I don't give a damn if it's a cup of iced tea. Sit down and let life come to you. If I don't say nothing else, let life come to you. Quit reaching. I'm preaching to myself. Quit reaching and struggling. If the phone is not ringing, Taurus, go do your damn hair. 
go do your nails. Go make a BLT sandwich. How about that? Do something. But do something for yourself. Don't just do anything. Put the focus and keep the focus on you and let life come to you. That way, you don't have to stress. If you do it like that, it'll be a lot easier to move out of this chop. And just say, fuck it. I know I'm preaching to the choir because y'all like, lady, we can't do that. That's impossible. Just take a breath and let it happen. When you're not tense, when you're not upset, when you're not all in it and trying to direct the flow of traffic, it is much easier to choose and make decisions than when you're all tense and nervous and upset and anxious. I'm just saying. Suffering in silence, do not suffer in silence. Do not. Because you're lost and you don't have no focus and your brain is all over the map. Don't do that. Don't suffer in silence. If you can't do anything else but get up and go to the gym. The thing here, and again, it's about walking, and I know I've said this in a couple other readings, it's about walking a really fine line. Out of focus, too much shit going on, suffering in silence. Let's lose some of this. If you have to get a piece of paper and write down the two things that you're going to do this week, that's what you do. And get rid of some of this. So this is hot, anxious, angry, I need to hurry up. Don't do this, I'm telling you. Slow this down so you don't have to feel like you're suffering in silence. Get a list, make a list, and keep it moving. The happy family, now we're into next weekend. This energy will probably reveal itself more next weekend. Your power is right here. It's right here. Your power is with your romantic partner, your family. That's where your power is. And you're going to have to recognize that. I think a lot of people don't aren't recognizing this. And this little piece is not for everybody. But happy family and power. Your power is right there. Some of y'all need to hear this because y'all are acting like, I have a family, you know. Your power is with your family. And I'm talking about romantic partners, stepkids, regular kids, other kids, husbands, boyfriends, the whole kit and caboodle. That's where your power lies, right there. Don't think it's somewhere else. It's right there. I don't know who needs to hear that, why it's coming out like that, but that's exactly where your power is in your family. It's with your family. It lies with your family. And I'm not saying um, that your family is powerful or that you're less than without, without your family. It's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is realize the power that you have with your clan. It's not just you, it's not just them. As the collective, realize the whole thing, all of it, together. When you can do that, that's when you can stand up in your own power because you know where you're coming from. Work with me, people, work with me. Sacrifice, some of you are making sacrifices. A lot of you have kids that are going to school. This is resonating really loudly got to get up off that coin so these folks can go get the education that they need. There's nothing wrong with making that sacrifice, people. Anything worth having is a sacrifice. It's just the fuck. That's just what, what it is. Some of you are struggling with that. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Find the resources to do what you need to do. Make that sacrifice. And come right back here. Because your power, what? Exactly, with your family. So these two, as far as I'm concerned, that's a whole little thing right there. When you can combine that energy of recognizing the power that you have with your clan and in your clan, and then realize the things that you need to do for your clan, the, the sacrifice that you got to make, with money, time, and whatever else. That little package right there will give you a completely different perspective on whatever the dilemma is you're having uh, in terms of trying to bring things together. 
at the end of all of this, with the King of Cups and the truth, stand up in it. Remain faithful to what you believe in, what your values are. Stand up in your truth. Come on now. I know I did another reading this morning. Stand up in your truth. Remain faithful. Yeah, I got it written up there this day. To what you believe in. Stand up in your own truth. Even in this situation, some of you are going to have to stand up in your truth. Do it. Remain faithful to yourself. Because if you're not faithful to you, you certainly aren't going to be of any use to anybody around you. Period. Remain faithful to you, bull. Stand up in your truth. Say what you need to say. Don't preach no sermon. Don't teach no class. Just saying. And keep it moving. This chill, though, that chill is definitely what Taurus needs to adopt this week. For real. Overall. That's what you need to do. Keep everybody out of trouble. I know you want to run through the door and out the other door and say you the bull running through the china shop. Take a minute before you get to the other door. And look around you. Look at what you're breaking. And look at what you're running around. And then you can proceed. You just run out the other door. But the universe is really giving you a heads up here to take your time and look at what's going on. Feel what you need to feel. It's not comfortable. Like I started the reading out by saying, you're gonna have to, some of you are going to have to sit with this by yourself. Do it. I know y'all like, lady, fuck you. You're trying to sit with no emotions. You're sitting up crying and watching TV and snotting and shit. Do it. Do it. Again, like I told you two months ago, the energy is not doing anything now but picking up. It's getting faster. If that's even fucking possible, it's getting faster. So when you are given this opportunity, sit with your emotions and process them. And you have this window of opportunity to take your time. Take it. Because I promise you, you get to September, y'all going to be like, you were right. Yeah, I know. Ain't going to be no stopping. From the, after, after this month, you may have one more slow period. After that, from now to the end of the year, it's going to be go, 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 gone. So that you have this window to sit and process your emotions, um, look at how you're dealing with things, checking out your mental resources, how sharp you are. Some of you are, are trying to get another job. This is applying to that too. Prosperity is coming, like I said. Whether you want it to or not, it's here. You got everything together? the same. That's where it's at. The exercise your vibes card popped out. I'm going to pull three more and I'll just say it now. Use your intuition. Use your intuition in as much as you can for whatever you're dealing with. Listen to what your body is telling you. Come on now. Damn it. <laughs> Cards don't lie. Don't rush through this energy. If you've got decisions to make, my agenda for today, cry, process some emotions, go eat some food, run some errands, come back home, cry some more, process some emotions, and sleep on it. Before I do that, I'm just saying. And, and it's not unhealthy to do this tour so don't think because you're not used to doing something it's not good it is good to cry if you've got an emotional issue that's messing with you it's good to get that energy out if you can't cry damn it find a song to sing that relates to what you're dealing with sing it i don't care if you can't sing just sing it get all that out and you see clearly what decision you need to make sleep on it coming back here those of you that are dealing with somebody getting ready to come back into your experience and I don't mean you ain't talked to them and they left forever and you just not I'm talking about somebody that's gone traveling went away somewhere did something for their gig or had to go do something with their kids over the summer whatever they're coming back to you different than when they left I can't stress that enough and this is about your destiny before you decide so that's because the change. Sleep on it. Sleep on it. Even if you don't change your mind, sleep on it and wake up with a fresh perspective. Is this really want to go that way? 
Or do you want to do something else? Take your time. Don't rush that energy. Call on your runners. Y'all know this. There's some little fairies and gremlins and stuff that you call on to make the path smooth before you step out the door. Before you leave your house every day. Ask your angels to make the way clear for you for the whole day. And do that for five days. Let me know how that work out for you. I promise you, you will feel better. Some of the anxiety you may be feeling will go away. Because you're doing a good thing. You're asking your angels to help you. And that's exactly what they'll do. Body talk. What's your body saying to you? Where's the exercise vibe? There you go. What's your body saying to you? You got a situation with a person or people. When you think about that person, how do you feel? Is your stomach all tied up in knots? Your head hurting? You break out in cold sweat? Are you laughing? Are you crying? What's your body saying to you? Making a decision. Using your intuition. Part of that is listening to your body and what it's saying to you. Some of you are going to walk off into some situations this week at work. You walk into the meeting room or the conference room. How do you feel? Don't be so off into the ethers that you know, you're not paying attention to what's going on. Pay attention to your vibes. Listen to what your body is telling you. It will keep you out of a lot of trouble and it will also lead you in a good direction. I'm just saying Taurus, I love you. I did not mean for this reading to take 45 minutes. I promise I didn't. But I know y'all are going through it because I'm going through it. Y'all are in my prayers. Y'all know where I'm at. Tarotatero at Gmail. Don't forget if you're a subscriber, get your $5 reading this month. I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.